Hello everyone, welcome to Quantum Guruji. So today we are going to learn uh, how to do this uh, QS2 transition state calculation. Okay. So suppose you have a butadiene, right? So you already know that there are two means the two conformers of butadiene. One is the trans one, right? This is the trans butadiene, and another is what? This is butadiene, right? And another is one cis butadiene. So cis butadiene is this is the cis butadiene. It has a you know it's not in the plane. It has certain rotation, right? So first you need to do is you need to optimize both of the geometries of this, right? The cis as well as the trans one. Both geometry you need to optimize, right? Now you have the reactant uh, like we have the two geometries and you want to find out the uh, you know transition state between those two structures, okay? and you can find out you can using that you can find out the uh, rotational barrier also in this molecule so what we can do is we'll suppose i'll copy this this geometry i'll copy first copy it and go to the file menu and new molecular glue and paste it fine and now you can close this now uh, you have this c2 again just copy this and paste it. So second molecule you have to like add to the molecule group. Fine. Now you have two molecules, right? See here. You can see from here, right? This is the molecule two that is the cis, and this is the molecule trans, right? Now you have two molecules. One more thing you need to make sure is the numbering in atoms are same in the both cases then only your you know number labeling like what i mean to say is suppose here your see suppose the atom number one three six and eight belongs to carbon right one three six and eight so in molecule two also same number of uh, like atoms should belong to carbon okay so one three six eight and here also if you see it is one three six eight so the numbering of atoms are same in that case only you can you will be able to do, perform this QS2 calculation otherwise you won't like that menu will be not seen now go to the calculate goes in calculation setup okay and energy just choose OPT plus freak and from here what you need to do is see once you have selected uh, that two molecules and the numbering labeling are correct then you will see this TS QS T2 okay transition state using this QST method you have to select this after that what you need to do is uh, same thing just select the level of theory functional charges will be zero singlet and everything is going to be same okay once you have done this now submit this job okay after doing this submit the job once your calculation is over what you will get is you will be getting this kind of transition state right so transition state will be going through uh, you know the, this both of this alkene group or this fragment will be perpendicular to roughly perpendicular to each other right and they are making a dihedral angle of 100 degree right 100.5 degree so this is the transition state understood okay so whatever the energy is for this molecule this transition state so this is the energy of this transition state and for the trans isomer also there will be some energy when you are like subtracting uh, like finding out the difference between the energy of these two segments you will be getting the rotational barrier okay rotational barrier is the you know the energy that is required to rotate that you know cc bond in this molecule this cc bond is rotatable right so how much energy is required to rotate this for that you need to perform this qs2 calculation and uh, using this you can get that uh, rotational barrier also okay and this way you can also calculate the transition state so for uh, suppose you have a cis isomer and the trans isomer both of them will be go passing through this barrier okay and you can find out the barrier height also you can go to the result menu and everything is going to be same fine thank you for watching